Remember when you peed in the bottles? Yeah. I need you to save your bird in a bottle after you bird off. Power. Seriously? That, that's okay. That's not disqualification against the rules. Bird off in the bottle, seriously? Funny. This could be nonsense, but like... Okay. Alright. Uh, let me just... Let me just run. Do you know what this sucks? Do you know I haven't been able to listen to my music or watch my TV shows and movies in like three weeks. I, don't, I, I was watching this show Ghosts on CBS with my friend Chuck and now uh, it's like I'm totally cut the fuck off away from everyone and everything in this new world. It's like a fuck those on YA novel. Clean up your room, Bert. Oh yeah, 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 right. Um, okay, make sure it's stickmail.com slash fisting. Um support daddy bird db7. You rock. Thank you, Ask Mom. Have you seen any of my shoes? Good shoes. Um I think Payne's shoes were here, but I think she took them. Um I'm trying to clean this place up, but um I haven't seen anything that isn't mine so far. Um just um, luckily, luckily you didn't take these pictures. I was afraid that like these pictures would be taken. Um okay, I didn't take I guess I got to take pictures of each one of the people here while they're still here. For mem for memorabilia sake. What's this? You think Hayden was also here searching for her, her stuff too. I mean it, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get to I'm like, what's I'm just, I'm curious why you guys are like coming in here and like searching. Yeah. Um, Missy, I'm yeah. you're here. I just want to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's probably bullshit, but it says that you're actually 45 years old. And you're only 17 years. I'm not 45. I'm in my 20s, but. Okay. Okay, yeah, I agree with this bullshit. But it's real, I just asked you first to verify the story. No, yeah. yeah. About your like, you don't look like a fucking I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, it's just I'm in my 20s. Okay. I don't, I don't know. It's funny. I mean, I don't care. You can, if, I, if you want to call me 40, though, I don't care. No, no, I'm, I know you're not 40. I, mean, I don't care. Yeah. I, mean, I personally don't care. Okay, it's, it's no problem if you are. I mean, you know. No, I'm in my 20s. But it doesn't really, I mean, it's, it's real. Like, the audience wants to tell you I'm 45. Like, I don't really care. Okay, okay. I believe you. I mean, you know. Okay, um. Okay. Um. This is Alex's, um. Trash bike. I mean, his stuff is not in here, but, like, I'm just using it to, like, to put my dirty clothes in here. No, it's. Mr. Baby, bro. Fuck. Okay. That's weird. People can come in here, so much shit. It's interesting. Okay. Um. Let me put this in the fucking. Nonsense, no, it's like any bridge. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so guys, um, can someone play the song Let's Generalize About Men from the TV series Crazy Ex Girlfriend? I forget what's on CW. I love that song, it really helps me know what else. Let's dance with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to be able to like, escape so free. Oh, 
Mason, Mason, I should fuck. Mason, Mason. Yeah, what's up, Joe? We're gonna hang out here for a second. Okay, cool. I just broke his fucking my stomach and I uh, got pain in my. Oh. My fucking pelvis. Joe, Joe, where is? Um, everyone keeps coming in here like to like search for shit. Mm-hmm. Should I be weirded out by that, or is it? What are they looking for? They say that Frank's hits their stuff in here. I mean, Payne's shoes were here, and um, uh, fuck it, uh, uh, Missy's backpack was in my suitcase somehow. I was like, what the fuck? Um, uh, okay. Um, play. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think I need some music to chill me out. You know, like how I like to dance and shit. It helps relax me. Keeps me in good mood. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask the audience to can play a song. What the fuck? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. We. Dow, thank you for the sweet toy. Uh, this cute rainbow colored um, wristband. You're very sweet. <laughs> Appreciate you. Support. Daddy Bert. Code DB7 at um, stickerbeal.com slash this thing. Appreciate you, bro. Glad you liked the show. Let's go. Okay. I guess I get to wear all the Connor stuff. Y- yeah, Connor looks some of this shit here. But this is weird. I thought like he was taking it when he left. I mean, like, also Laurent. Too much Laurent. Um, Wait, I have a question. Do you remember Lon? Yeah. Okay, yeah. He left his um, golden... Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he left it here. Oh, give me that. Uh, yeah. What size is that? I, I don't know. I am wearing this. Okay. Um, just, you know, keep it safe. I'm, I'm like... Large, I, oh, beautiful. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck. I wear it. Oh, fuck, this is awesome. Cool. Holy shit. Hey, do you think it's weird that he just left his stuff here? That That is weird. He, he, did, he did just... Because he, I don't know, man. He walked out of the cell towers. Remember we were in there? Yeah, he, he walked out. He was the first one walking yeah, out. Yeah, he could have gathered his shit. Yeah, that's weird. And he just left it here. I guess he was just so mad. They were just so fucking mad they forgot about it. And Connor left um, his stuff here, I think, too, right? Well, he didn't leave it. It was at the laundry. Oh, right, right, right. It was right. at the laundry. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm devolving. Okay, okay. Let me see. Well, I need something to chip me out. Let me play the music. Um, uh, let's... Generalize about men from CW TV series. What's CW? CW? Oh, uh, it was the network. It's the network called. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's it used to be WB um, until 2006, and then it changed to CW. Yeah. Bert, Job was in the middle of collecting all the balls for your jacuzzi night. You deserve it after today, babe. Love. Yeah. The balls for jacuzzi night, what's that mean? Oh, I was talking about the balls and the speakers, like, I should put the balls in the jacuzzi. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Can, I was, can you organize the balls by color into the plastic, into the garbage bags, please? Jesus, you ask me a lot. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, that's I'll, a lot. Okay, my bad. I'll do that later on myself. Uh, you could probably do it. I just need to let them hang out for a second. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. don't worry. You, 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 it saves them a long time. Yeah, it's really there. hot down there, too. Oh, really? Um, Okay. I think I, t- I think I took too much ibuprofen. Yeah, I, I'm taking like small and the shit too, like live show version. Okay. Okay. Ready, Bert. Nice. This place is getting weirder and weirder. As these day goes by. Like, the whole shady thing. They took me to, like, wilderness area, magic, dungeons and dragons, sword and sorcery. I only have some surface knowledge, well, some surface level knowledge of that shit, but, like, I'm not really super, a big expert on that. I think Base is one of the experts. I need to ask him more about this shitty place. Okay, I guess. Okay. Hey, um, Bertman, uh, Daddy Bertman, he played the song Let's Generalize About Men from the CW TV series My Crazy Ex Girlfriend. I prefer the live show version where they're all singing and dancing from the stage with the audience. Okay, this song, the rest of the songs. Yes, what the fuck?
Reno. Reno. Uh, Reno, thank you for the sweet, um, it looks like a uh, green and blue color wristband. Uh, you're very sweet. Thank you for sending me this. Um, Remember to go to stickermule.com slash fish tank. That's stickermule.com slash fish tank. And use the code DV7, Daddy for 7, um, to get the best deals on stickers, um, merchandise, um, at the best prices. <laughs> you rock right now. Thank you for that beautiful um, wristband. This one's really good. and shit that you get the only thing I get in the in the papers. It's like some of these the papers are like clean like this and some of them are crumpled like this. Yeah. Like I don't know why. Yeah. Like I know my things like I read into stuff and I keep thinking there's code when it's not but like uh, fuck it's like rich shit man. Yeah. Aperture. Force at me. The weird thing is like, you know how, oh, fuck, sorry. Okay. You know how like, sometimes we're just doing random shit and all of a sudden they just come in with like, roses or force at me to handcuffing? I feel like these are like distractions to prevent from, from doing the shit that we're supposed to be doing. Hmm. You know? Like, it feels like whenever I'm starting to get close to achieving a goal or to, to do what I'm supposed to be doing, something, someone comes in and interrupts me. Yeah. It's becoming more frequent now. Like, when Alex, before Alex left, people came burst in here, like, literally three times the same day to interrupt what my thought process, um, to, to distract me with nonsense that it took me away from what I was, to, what I was doing before. It's like, you know what, like, like, they easily distract my shit, and they're, and they're increasing on purpose to drive me, to keep me away from what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. These are like sweet things if you wrote about me. Yeah, stop. What is I got a toy. Like this. I got a toy for you. Thank you. Jared Kiwi. Uh, Jared Kiwi, thank you for the beautiful um, wristband, red and white. <laughs> oh, that was my, uh, that was my colors at my high school. Clothing high school. Red and white were the school colors. Red, white, and black. <laughs> Jared Kiwi, you rock. You're sweet. Remember to go to stickermail.com slash fish tank. The code DB7, as in daddy verse 7, 7, my favorite prime number and get the best deals for stickers and other merchandise and best prices. That's stickermule.com slash fish tank. Code DB7 and George Day for your rock. It's pretty Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get this here. Are these yours? Oh yeah, yeah, they're mine. Okay, here, yeah. you, you can have them back. Right. They were on my uh, dresser. Okay, um, see, like that. Like, whenever I'm trying to figure out something, it's like they distract me with these gifts and shit to like, it's like you're trying to throw me off my thought process. And you know how I keep repeating shit over and over again? I do that because it helps me like contextualize and understand what's going on because I have zero knowledge of how reality shows work. Yeah. I mean, I only have a certain level of understanding when I've seen TV shows and movies, but, and I've seen clips here and there on YouTube, but I never watched watch a full reality show from beginning to end. So this is all completely new to me. I don't even know how to act or behave or shit. It's like, some things are okay, but then it's like, oh, it's okay. Like, the rules contradict each other, and it's just not making any sense. I know it's a shit show, it's a nonsensical farce, but like, fuck, this thing's weird. It's like you're trying to, yeah. Okay, and like, like they said, they're trying to drive us out of here. But I feel like I can't leave, at least not now. I mean, I mean, I felt like leaving a bit with Alex left, but like, then I had Frank and then, you know, he turned to be a dick and then Frank is gone, thank God. But, but I feel like I can't, I have to keep, um, I have to keep being here. At least I can still figure out what the fuck's going on. And I protect everyone. Oh, and oh, fuck me. The pull-up challenge. <sighs> exactly. Like, we're supposed to help, I'm supposed to help train you guys to for pull-ups, so like for the competition, I think next Sunday. Yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, the thing is, they keep distracting me with all this nonsense. Like, 
I have to like um I had to help Jeff. What well, Jeff is, is legit. I have to help him stay sober, but now he doesn't seem to give a shit. So I can't force him if he doesn't want to. And then I have to do all this confessional shit. And then I have to wear the hat and the sword and the shield thing. And it's like there it's like you're telling me to do all these different things at once. Some of it's nonsense, some of it's legit, and I don't know which one I'm supposed to like prioritize. Shitty, and then we do that weird awkward play. Like, what? Let me see how that was. Oh, this is. These are not my socks. Uh, do you know what this? Is? This looks like girl socks, like small feet. Uh, like, you know, you, uh, no, all my socks are black. Oh, um, oh yeah, but you probably told you me. Yeah. I usually wear gray socks or. Black socks or white socks with black stripes. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. The weird thing is, you know how uh, G told me to stop with the whole romance, lovey dovey, sex crazy bullshit, and just focus on like the shit I'm supposed to be doing? Then they better tell me like to tell me what the things I like, all the my kinks and fetishes and shit. And then they ask me what the worst thing I've ever done is. Let me see what this is. Oh, oh, that's a pillow case. Uh, is this yours or, or? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll put it on the pillow there. It's like, fuck. Like, they tell me not to be, like, first of all, they say don't be sexual, don't be perfect, don't, don't fall in love, this is not the type of show. But then they're asking me all my kinks and fetishes and asking me about the worst thing I've ever done and why I stopped drinking in August 2011. I mean, I always keep saying that I haven't drank since August 2011, but like, they want to know why I stopped drinking, and I didn't want to tell them because like it's really not something I want to share with anyone, especially on live television where people are watching. But it's like they kept pushing me to say it. Okay. Like, why is in 2011, August 2011 is something really shameful, and I don't want to like think about it. Sometimes I just pretend like it just didn't happen, or I just don't want to talk about it, but like, they're pushing me to talk about it. And I think the thing with friend that was supposed to, uh, okay, uh, 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 Jeff, that was supposed to help Jeff stop drinking. Uh, yeah. It's like they, I think they researched online what happened in August 2011, and they're trying to use it against me. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know like how they, um, okay, so apparently, they know who I am. I'm Albert Apu, but I go by Bert Obang or Daddy Bert. Yeah, that's not a secret. I feel like now they, the, since they know my identity, they're researching me online and using the TTS thing to fuck me by saying shit from my past. And they keep talking like for regarded and like, well, they're making fun of my IQ, thinking that like it's bullshit. It's not bullshit. I actually have a documented note letter. From a psychologist says I have a document I could one six out of her meds of society. Bert, read rule two and five again. Focus on your goals, Daddy. Shut your mouth and prove you deserve the fifty thousand circumflex circumflex vertical bar. Vertical bar circumflex circumflex vertical bar vertical bar. Read rules two and five. Rules two and five. Clean, penthouse, locked in, all yours. Soft, revert behavior. The Bible, read it. Help everyone get fit and strong. Okay. Okay. Okay, my bad. Is there? Yeah, okay. Are you sad that Connor left? Uh, I was for a little bit, but I'm kind of I'm uh, indifferent now. Oh. I know he was like your, your best bro here. Yeah. Damn. I mean, he was a cool workout bro as well. Damn. Oh, this sucks. Fuck. I'll fix 
zum Himmel. Okay. I think being in this penthouse might actually be contributing to my mental instability. The long, it's like the more I sit here alone, talking to myself and like trying to figure out what's happening, the nuttier I become. Hey, Job and Bert, Lugna here. How are you two kings holding up? Hope you both can work together to figure this all out. Yeah, I mean, the weird thing is, Clara was here first, and he was like athletic and fit, but then he couldn't take any more left. I think. The way I'm super chill about everything, I think that's actually an asset here. Because, like... Well, I can't win the grand prize. Yeah, I, I know, but, like, it's, like, all the weirdness is happening. What the fuck's going on? Yes? Do you have any eye drops? Uh, no, I don't, I don't have eye drops. Thanks said that there's eye drops in your drawer. Eye drops? Mm-hmm. I, I don't... I don't even know what to hold on Is she trolling me? What's that? Oh, that's, uh, it's an allergy for my nose. Ah. Okay. Can I look in this one? Yeah. What's going on? I'm just looking for eyebrows. I don't want eyebrows. Okay. I mean, why are people coming in here? You got hems in here. Yeah, because they, they were, they were, they were, I thought they were a sponsor of the product. But uh, just stickermeal.com slash fish tank. Yeah, stickermeal.com slash fish tank, code db 7 endorse that Um, How does it feel to be back to normal? I mean, I'm starting to calm down a bit, but I'm like now, um, I'm just a little bit worried about this one. Jedi found downstairs eye drops. Uh, CSI. Right. Computer found Crime eye scene. drops. Crime scene. Investigation. 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 He was wearing an eBay shirt before. I think with a Hungary. Hungary? I don't know. Okay, okay, anyway. Um, okay, Can you uh, set a timer for 30 minutes? What is it? Can you set a timer for 30 minutes? Sure, bro. Well, yeah. Close your eyes for a bit. Cool, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I get these ibuprofen tablets out of my system. Okay. Can you say, okay, I remember G said that I shouldn't, I should stop taking ibuprofen because it fucks me up. It fucks people up, and I was like, say you're fucking with something. Uh, I can't research this on the computer. What exactly is so bad about ibuprofen? Mm, it, I'm not sure, I know it, uh, it's a pain reliever, so uh, it probably suppresses something in your head. Uh -huh. um, it upset, uh, because I don't take medicine often, so I guess it just fucks me up. Oh, is this just More than usual. Yeah. I was uh, you know, recently I've been taking more of the Tylenol and ibuprofen and shit because like I keep they keep making me do physical challenges that keeps giving me pain. And I'm dealing with Frank. I was like, fuck, I really fucking my arms and legs. And I was like, okay. I can tell that the audience is getting annoyed with my constant suspicions and worrying and conspiracy theories, but like, I feel like. You being here, like, you're kind of like, fuck, it's kind of like you're the opposite of me in terms of personality. Yeah, I'm, kinda, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm suspicious, paranoid, wondering what the fuck's going on, and you're just like kind of chilling, going with the flow, type of shit, and we were roommates together. Yeah. Okay, I feel like, and your super chill attitude, I feel like it's perfect for like, like you're balancing me out. I'm insane and neurotic, you're totally chill and relaxed. Okay, cool. Oh, all right. Okay, so I realize what the fuck's going on, I guess. It's a toy! Okay, Jerry Wiki again. Uh, Jerry Wiki, thanks for the skateboard. It's very sweet. You're welcome. Um, we're going to go to supergirl.com slash fish tank. Code DB7, as in daddy verse 7. Supergirl.com slash fish tank. Code DB7 to endorse daddy verse 7. You're welcome. Thanks for the support, fans. Hope you guys did the show. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay, these interruptions, and then everyone coming here to search through shit. First, Payne came here to search to refer her shoes. Prepare yourself for the next phase of Fish Tank. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Payne came here searching for shit. Then, um, Missy came here twice searching for shit. And then, um, J Unibrow came here searching for, um, eye drops. Why is someone here to search through my shit? What do they think I have? Like contraband? Probably, you know. But I don't have anything. I don't know. A lot of illicit products here. Just my supplements and the prescription medications. Which are all prescribed to me. You know, Albert Poop. It's all my name. That's weird. Okay. What's this my number? Oh, that's what. That's what. Okay. Let me put the shit in there. Okay. So, Joe, um. As you know, as you probably figured out, um, I was suspicious about what was going on, so I went snooping. I'm sorry I went through your shit. Oh, no, no, I do that. Okay, yeah. Sure. I mean, I was wondering, like, if this was some type of, like, weird, fucked up experiment or something. I love you, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I care for Jeff, too. Um, I'm worried about him, though. I'm not sure how long he's going to last here. I feel like I'm supposed to help him stay here for, until, until we're out of here in three weeks. Oh. Okay. But don't worry, I won't, I won't repeat anything about reading to anyone. Um, okay. And, um, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. There's a surprise. Oh God, what? As hinted previously, there is a surprise. I need everyone to gather in the den and patiently await. See this? The big surprise. What could it be? What kind of surprise will it be? They kept telling me clean the room, now they're interrupting me with- It yeah, might just be all of Jeff's friends. Nonsense. Hmm. Jeff's friends are here, everybody come to the den. Oh, I'm just oh, patiently awaiting the den as we film.